In other news tonight, the ministries of health and environment seeking to ramp up their efforts after an increase in conch poisoning cases. Amajal Knowles tells us what they're doing. As of today, there are 27 laboratory confirmed cases of conch poisoning and 22 clinical cases awaiting laboratory confirmation. That was Health Minister the Honorable Dr. Wayne Sands updating the press on the ministry's most recent findings regarding the country's conch poisoning saga, an issue the minister said is becoming increasingly difficult to address and will require cross-ministry collaboration. The increase in cases is an ongoing public health threat, which has economic and social implications. Additionally, our laboratory reports demonstrate that the causative organism, Vibrio parahemolyticus, is becoming increasingly more difficult to treat. Government agencies have strengthened collaboration to mitigate against further cases of conch poisoning. And in this regard, in accordance with current legislation, all vendors who wish to continue with the sale of raw conch dishes such as scorch conch and conch salad may only do so if they demonstrate the presence of fresh running water linked to the city supply. From an environmental standpoint, there will be a heightened sense of vigilance from environment and health officials in regards to preparation by vendors. Agriculture and Marine Resources Minister the Honorable Michael Pintard is running to questions concerning the timing of the increased effort, as this should have been something that was previously practiced. Uh, first of all, the ministry with responsibility for the environment regularly checks all of the various sites where uh, food is being uh, prepared as well as served. Uh, secondly, the Ministry with Responsibility for Agriculture and Marine Resources, we have persons who are stationed in these locations. Now, Dr. Sands, when probed by our news team, did reveal that tourists were among the persons affected by the contaminated conch. Um, I can confirm that in that number, included in that number, are tourists. Um, I, I couldn't tell you exactly how many were tourists. Uh, we have not uh, drilled into the data that Closely, I can just tell you that some of the patients were indeed tourists. The health minister also indicating that he could not confirm a timeline for the 22 cases that are still pending, saying several more tests have to be run. For ZNS Network News, I'm Amajal Knowles.